Hello, and welcome to Termly's Weekly News Roundup. We want to let you know of all the privacy news that are related to your business. And here is the news for this week. Updated guide for developers and 30 new cookie notices announced by CNIL. A revised guide to the EU General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, for web and app developers was published by the CNIL, France's Data Protection Authority. The updates focused on provisions regarding third-party cookies, other trackers, and an audience measurement technologies. CNIL announced 60 cookie compliance notices and 30 new orders to organizations for not providing the option to refuse cookies as quickly as accepting them. Their inspection found cookies unknowingly put in place with no user consent, with no compliant information banners accepting cookies, even with the rejection from the users. Grindr receives a lowered penalty for GDPR violations. Dana Alisnet, the Data Protection Authority DPA of Norway, issues its final decision penalizing the dating app Grindr with a $65 million violation of the Euro General Data Protection Regulation. The penalty was reduced from the originals $106.4 million issued against the app last January. The penalty was reduced since Grindr provided more information to the organization while the DPA was investigating the app for violations. The app still needs to delete personal data that was processed that violated the GDPR. Digital Services Act endorsed by Committee in EU Parliament. The Internal Market and Consumer Protection Committee of the European Parliament voted 36 to 7 in favor of the Digital Services Act, the DSA. Additional packages of amendments that included provisions for further transparency on targeting advertising practices and restriction on alleged dark patterns. Regarding the DSA, the EU is democratically reclaiming our online environment said Christelle Schaldemose, Danish member of the parliament. She also added the legislation is bringing EU technology regulation into the 21st century. In January 2022, the European Parliament will vote on the amendments. If approved, the EP will start the consultations together with the Council of the European Union. EDPB will deliberate Article 58 of the GDPR and more. Plans for its 58th plenary session were announced by the European Data Protection Board, EDPB. This will include talks on supervisory authorities that use the EU General Data Protection Regulations Article 58 as a legal basis to order ex officio the erasure or unlawful processed personal data. Also part of the discussion are the guidelines on data breach notifications and evaluation of the law enforcement orders on the use of personal data by the law enforcement authorities. Check out all of Termly's resources to help your business. Termly, a global leader in data privacy solutions for businesses.